To enable developer mode in ETS2 and ATS, which allows you to use things like the free camera and the console, all you need to do is find your documents, uh, open American Truck Simulator or ETS2, it's exactly the same for both games, find the config file, if it has a different icon or has an extension after it, that doesn't matter. Just right click on it, open with, and then choose notepad. Press Control and F on your keyboard to find the right line we're looking for. If you type G underscore dev and then hit enter, you'll find this line. What you need to do is change the zero to a one. Go back in here and type con. Find the next. Uh, and then change this 0 to a 1 on this line. Save that and you are now done. Let's just make sure it worked in the game. Now we are in the game I can show you some of the features we just enabled. So if I press 0 and use the mouse we can look around using the f what's known as a free camera. If we use the arrows on the uh, numpad we can uh, move around and using the mouse wheel we can speed up and slow down um, the movement of the camera. If you press the uh, button on the left of the 1 in the same row we can open the console uh, the most common commands we use are like g underscore set underscore time and then do zero two. So changes the time to 2am. We can also uh, use press up on the arrow to take up, like copy the last command. If I type weather here, say 01 make the game start to rain. Um, I'll leave a link below in the description to a page that has all the commands because there are quite a few. Uh, this is just an example of type warp. warp and then large number. We can speed the game up. That concludes this video. If you'd like to see more tutorials for ATS and ETS2, click the like button and uh, subscribe, and with that I'll see you in the next video.